The Palisades nuclear power plant could be a step closer to reopening. The Biden administration is reportedly ready to offer a more than billion dollar loan to Holtec to restart the shuttered plant. News 8's Byron Tollefson joining us live in studio now with more on this. Byron? Sue, this would be the first restart of a closed nuclear reactor in U.S. history right here in West Michigan. The main turbine is stripped and the uh, generator is disconnected from the grid. After going offline nearly two years ago, Palisades is poised to restart with apparent significant support from the Biden administration. The restart of Palisades is historic. It's transformative. It's, it's all the more important as Michigan looks to move off of fossil fuels. Bloomberg, citing people familiar with the matter, reports that the federal government is set to lend $1.5 billion to Holtec as soon as next month. Holtec, once tasked with decommissioning the plant, would bring it back online. Uh, we continuously throughout the life of the plant have... A company spokesperson tells News 8 it has not received an official decision yet, but he's confident it will get what he calls a transformative loan. We are hopeful for a favorable decision sometime in the near, near future to uh, help ensure that we can bring Palisades back online by the end of 2025. The plant near South Haven in Off Lake, Michigan, shut down in May of 2022 after 50 years. Paul, the main turbine is stripped and the uh, generator is disconnected from the grid. But several months later, a plan to reopen the site was announced, backed by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Michigan's budget earmarked $150 million to help make it happen. The first nuclear power plant in our nation's history to restart. Now, Mr. Speaker. Republican U.S. Representative Bill Heisinga tells News 8 that as the federal government and the auto industry prioritize electricity Electric vehicles. The plant is necessary to achieve energy goals, and it would be ready to go. You've already got the uh, permitting for the site uh, taken care of. You've got the infrastructure uh, that both coming in and more importantly going out. You know the uh, the electricity that gets produced. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why we should explore this, uh, and uh, I, I'm I'm excited by this. It's just really hard for us to understand. Kevin Camps, who is part of the group Beyond Nuclear, which opposes reopening Palisades, questions whether Holtec would be able to make necessary upgrades by the late 2025 restart. The extreme risks to health, safety, the environment are hard to uh, exaggerate how dangerous this restart will be. A Holtec spokesperson counters that after receiving federal and state money, a year and a half process would begin to bring the plant online under the eye of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, including preparing new fuel for the reactor and launching rigorous inspections, equipment upgrades and changes to make sure it can run for decades to come. We put a premium on safety and reliability. Uh, we continuously throughout the life of the plant have invested hundreds of millions of dollars into plant upgrades and maintenance. And that is a track we're going to continue to work along. Holtec is also designing two small modular reactors for the site. The company says they would double the amount of electricity produced at Palisades. Camps argues that Michigan should turn to other forms of renewable energy, citing potential offshore wind power from the Great Lakes. The climate is often given as a reason for doing this, but talk about an opportunity cost. You could easily replace Palisades electricity many fold with renewables and efficiency and storage much more quickly and much more cost effectively. Holtec says it kept a third of its original workforce on site. It will look to bring back retired and former workers in hopes of a restart. The company is still decommissioning this plan to this day, but Culp says it's not irreversible. They can pursue a restart as soon as they get all the funding.